Hello, and welcome to Shared Library. This is part two of a two-part tutorial on the citation management software Zotero. Zotero is a free service offered outside of ETSU and is available to students, faculty, and staff that work similarly to EndNote or Mendeley. Citation management software allows us to maintain a personal library of the materials we have read and may use in future research or our schoolwork. In the last video, we went over how to make an account with Zotero and download the app. In this video, we will cover how to add to and organize our citation library. First, you'll want to open either the web library or the desktop application. I'll be working predominantly in the desktop application for this tutorial, but we will be able to see how items sync at the end of the video. When you open Zotero, you'll be brought to the main library view. From here, you can add collections or folders, and new citation information. If you're working on a long-term project or have a number of subjects you're saving resources for, collections will be helpful. The subfolders are referred to as child folders in the settings. To the right of the new collection icon is the new group icon. If you want to share a library with another Zotero user, you can do so by creating a group. Your group libraries are controlled and shared via the web application, but do sync to the desktop app. You will find your group libraries under your main library section. There are a few ways to add a citation. If you have the connector installed, you can do so by clicking on the icon next to your address bar. The icon will change depending on source type. As an example, I have the Zotero guidebook pulled up. To the right, you will find a book icon. Click this and it will allow you to choose the designated folder and then save. The same thing will occur if I have an article in the tab, though now I have a paper icon. Before adding the source to the library, Zotero also allows you to add tags. Let's add to review. Now we will see the articles in our library. We can review the metadata by clicking on the individual source. Typically, if you have a newer article, it will include the abstract in addition to other citation information like DOI and Publisher. To the right, you will find four tabs. The first is Info, which is the default where we find citation information. Next is Notes, and then Tags. See here, we have the To Review tag. And finally, we have Related, which can be set by you or through the tag search. Above these tabs, you will find a green arrow. If you click this arrow and your item has a DOI, it will forward you to the article or book. Depending on access, you may need to sign into ETSU or to retrieve it from the library. You also have an option to look up through Google Scholar. In the middle section, you can search for tags, titles, authors, or other information. You will also find the option to manually add citations by clicking on the green plus sign to the left here. Here you will find the option to add any source type you may need to cite. Let's do an example with journal article. Similar to the autofill data we have in our other citation examples, we can edit, add, or remove items as needed. Depending on the citation style, you may not need all the information there is an option for, but you can add it if you wish. To remove an item, right-click and either send it to trash, which will move it over here, or move it to another collection. You can also find options for adding notes here. Now we're ready to generate our bibliography. To generate a bibliography, you should first check to make sure your citation style has been added to your library options. To do this, go back to Preferences, and then Cite. We're going to choose APA 7th edition, but as you can see, there are a number of citation styles available from AMA to Turabian. If there is a citation style that you need but do not see listed, you can click on Get Additional Citation Styles. Once we've confirmed the style is available, it's time to choose our sources. To do this, click on the sources you wish to cite within your library or collection, using Control for PC or Command for Mac. After your items are highlighted, right-click and select Create Bibliography from Items. Choose your citation style, so APA 7th edition. Determine output mode, which is typically bibliography, and copy to clipboard. You can then copy and paste this bibliography into a Word document. If you would like to add your bibliography from Zotero to another citation management system like EndNote, or add the citation files to your Word document using the References option, you can do that as well. Go back to Highlighted Items, right-click, and choose Export Items. It will give you a number of options, but the RIS file format is the most common. You can tell it to remember notes and standalone files such as saved PDFs if you choose. You will then have an RIS file downloaded onto your desktop to transfer to the other services. Before we end, let's look at the web library. If you have Sync turned on, you will find that materials, notes, and other preferences we have made have been incorporated into the web app as well. 
This way you can access your citations even if you're away from your main computer. Those are the basics of Zotero. If you have any questions, feel free to make a research help appointment.